Hey, everybody, welcome. We are covering the last formation in the Invasion 2 data slate. I like this one. I made this one last because I actually wanted to try some die rolling on it before I made the video to see about some odds. But uh, I'll go into that later. But this one, this last formation, is called the Living Artillery Node. Let's read the description. It is said that when High Fleet Behemoth first thundered into the galaxy, its swarms were consistently outgunned and outranged by their foes. Since that time, however, the Tyranids have learned and adapted, creating living weapons the equal of any gun their prey may bring to bear. Unsubtle and extremely dangerous, the Living Artillery Node can bombard the foe from a distance, unleashing deadly barrages with unerring accuracy that blast enemy formations apart and disrupt the foe's battle lines. Awesome. And very to the point. So, this formation is called the Living Artillery Node. Now, I'm going to give my little opinion on this first before I talk about the rules. I like this because it adds an entirely new dimension to the Tyranid army. As you know, most of the time Tyranids are close combat. Now, from my earlier videos, if people have watched them, I've said I don't walk across tables. I like control armies and, you know, deep combining deep striking and infiltrating. Other people like... Nidzilla armies, almost all monstrous creatures. That would seem to be the typical Tyranid player army. Uh, but this one finally adds a third choice, and that is the ranged army. And I'm saying that this formation will make Dark, Dark Angels players cry. <laughs> It's if you it, you could now build uh, even Tau, forget about it. That, I'll go. Ahead. I'll just tell you what it is. Here we go. The Living Artillery Node formation consists of the following units: one Exocrine, three Biovores. That's three Biovores, not three broods of Biovores. So three Biovores, basically one full strength brood, and one Tyranid Warrior Brood. The formation restrictions are only one. The Tyranid Warrior Brood must, one model from the Tyranid Warrior Brood must have an item taken from the basic bio cannon list. If you don't know, that means it's going to either be a Barb Strangler or a Venom Cannon. Um, now, how about the special rules? The special rule is organic bombardment. And just, even when I'm just reading it, you got to get excited. But here we go. All ranged weapons fired by models in this formation have the pinning special rule. Hello, Assault 6, Exocrine. All, all shots have pinning. In addition, models in this formation that are within 12 inches of this formation's Tyranid Warrior Brood can re-roll the scatter die when firing weapons with the Blast or Barrage special rule. Now, you got to take a minute or two to let that really sink into your brain. Because it took me a little bit to really start thinking about that. I'm, I'll read it again. In addition, models in this formation 
that are within 12 inches of this formation's Tyranid warrior brood can re-roll the scatter die when firing weapons with the blast or barrage special rule. Are you starting to see the possibilities here? You can have an entire Tyranid warrior brood now as your forward observers. They basically use their synapse range, 12 inches. You can send them out. You can send them through a Turvagon tunnel. You could, uh, uh, whatever, <clears throat> uh, get, a, get, a, get a hive tyrant and, and then by commander and give them outflanking. So that they can come in on the side of the table, on the enemy's side of the table, on like turn two or turn three. And any, and any shot within 12 inches of them re-rolls the re to hit with blast or barrage. Wow! Think about that. Can you see the possibilities of that? That's one hell of a forward observing unit. And this is what I mean when I said it would make even the towel cry because you take their pathfinders. <laughs> but now, instead of pathfinders hiding out in a forest, it's going to be something like nine Tyranid warriors that walked in on the side using outflank. <laughs> a little bit harder to get rid of. Wow. I mean, just wow. Wow. And, and, and then if you want to keep them close to you, uh, if you're worried about shots deviating onto you, uh, if, if, if you kept it close up, then these people could basically be shooting at people up to three inches away from them with little worry that, that they'll get hit. Why? This is what I mean when I tried testing rolling the die. Because when it re-rolls it, I wanted to see... How often does the little arrow direction die repeat itself pointing back at you? Yeah, that's a tricky question, isn't it? It's not like, oh, how often do I roll a 1 on a 1d6? How often, when you roll the arrow die, does it come back to pointing back at you? What would be the, your um, instant answer on the odds of that? So uh, the answer is actually not that quite often because you really just look at it. I found out that it's about 15 degrees really of pointing it back at you and you've got 15 degrees and how many times does 15 go into 360 and then that would be one in that many numbers and that's the odds of it pointing back at you which is considerably less than rolling ones twice on a six-sided die math gotta love it uh but yeah basically with the exocrine who can then choose to fire either as a Strength 7 AP2 Large Blast, or as Strength 7 AP2 Assault 6, now you're just going to be firing with Blast all the time, because who cares? Uh, if, if, if When you get that close, you can basically put that template right down in front of you and annihilate anything that's about to assault you next turn, if you have these Tyranid Warriors within range. It's, I mean, seriously. Uh, and, and that's it. That's assuming it's just one. Imagine all of the, uh, adding all of the biovores into that. And then also one Tyranid warrior with, with a barbed strangler. You're talking about five large blast templates shots from one formation in a turn. Rerolling scatters. Or you can go, like I said before, long range and send the Tyrion and Warrior unit uh, out flanking onto the other side of the table. And then still re-rolling your scatters. Uh, <laughs> it's very nice. It's a completely new style of play for the Tyranids. Um, you can just buy fortification, sit yourself behind it, and just lob these things off. Try it out. I'm hoping to see some Tyranid player out there just build an entire long-range Tyranid army. And I'll tell you exactly who this would be good against. It would be good against Chaos Demons. Chaos Demons, 
who have, you know, instead of, oh, let's go hand-to-hand -hand with them because they're also pretty mean hand-to-hand, -hand, now we could sit there and say, hey, I'm up against Tyranids, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to freaking annihilate you! Halfway across the table! How many people have died that way by Tyranids? I think it's great! Enjoy the videos! Bye!